YouTube, my name is William, and we are going to be reviewing the highly anticipated and absolutely awful Club Penguin Island. So, let's get on with it. So, as you can see, you begin your journey as an average penguin, with absolutely no idea where the bloody hell you are. You can move like you could in the original Club Penguin, you can jump, you can throw snowballs wherever you please for no apparent reason whatsoever, you can do pretty much anything. One main difference between the original Club Penguin and Club Penguin Island was of its 3D aspect. This allows not only for the player to travel around in circles, as logically that is what 3D allows, but it allows for a bigger and more diverse game world. Sadly, Club Penguin Island does, um, is unfortunately not able to deliver this, as there is a limited amount of mini games and activities to do. As you can see down here, you have the ability to go on different adventures by Antarctic and Rock Hopper. Unfortunately, all these adventures are locked off with a new ID of memberships in Club Penguin Island. In the original Club Penguin, if you were a member, you could access more content than non-members could. However, there were still things as a non-member that you could do. Unfortunately, in Club Penguin Island, this has been taken to a new level, with basically every single bloody thing you could originally do being stripped down to, mem to members only. Another point I would like, like to add, mainly on the addition that everything has been stripped has been added down to members, is the fact is the fact that well everything's been added to only members, and so there's really no point of you playing unless you were going for a monthly subscription. For example, in your peng in your my penguin section, you can select to make clothing in your style. And the game has unfortunately crashed on us. And so that is the end for this part. Well, for now at least. After receiving some technical difficulties, I have returned after launching the game. The point I was going to go about go on about after was of the limited amount of things you can do, generally because of membership. As you can see in the penguin menu, you will notice that there is a My, style, My Styles button, allowing you to change the penguin style. With the coins you get from completing quests, though if you're not members you can't do quests, you can create different styles, based on different fabrics and decals. As I will show here, you can I'm choose a pullover hoodie, click a fabric, choose a decal, and then save your hoodie. The downside of this is that you are not allowed to, uh, to wear any of the items you purchase because it is only it is only allowed to be worn you can only wear them if you are a member <laughs> another thing i would like to pull, point out is the technical issues of this game as you could see in the light in this video already, the game has already crashed on me, and this happens multiple times. This infuriates many players because, well, if you had a game stopping halfway through gameplay, it's fairly annoying. 
though not truly a Club Penguin game, this game does still stake to its roots with its fun and imaginative creations that you can create. That you can create. My final score, my final score for Club Penguin Island will be a six out of ten. Thank you for watching my unscripted rant by Tiny Timber, and that is all for now. See you later.